everyone and thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make my sweet and spiced butternut squash which is always a hit wherever I take it uh, for family dinners and such. So you'll need about four to eight dates depending on how sweet you like it. A large butternut squash, about a half teaspoon five spice, one teaspoon cinnamon, one and a half to a tablespoon of honey and then one to two tablespoons of coconut oil and then salt to taste. Now I don't typically measure when I make this but this is just to give you an idea but you can spice it however you like. Now um, the butternut squash is kind of tough to peel and cut so I just use a potato peeler to peel the skin. It works pretty good. Just peel in sections and um, when you get to the big, bigger section, you know, just peel downwards and the potato peeler gets just uh, enough under the skin because the th skin of the squash is very thick and so I find that the potato peeler, peeler goes, you know, at a perfect depth, so anyways. So I like to cut the squash into um, about a half inch uh, chunks. I don't want it to break apart too much. I want some nice chunks in, in here. So about a half inch and um, that's really it. Just chopping up squash right now. Now for the bigger part, I just use my hands and just scoop all the seeds. Like I just feel for them with my fingertips and scoop them out. And I'm actually gonna save these seeds and plant them. So um, that's usually what I do with my butternut squash every year is I just save some seeds from, you know, when I cooked it last and I just throw them right in the ground with the pulp and everything. And the pulp is good um, because as it decomposes, it gives the seeds nutrients. Yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Just gonna save those seeds. And again, just keep chopping at about half inch. You can have some real chunky pieces in there too, it's fine. So when I'm done uh, chopping up the squash into pieces, I will just run it over some water and give them a nice rinse. And I put about maybe one fourth uh, cup of water in there so that there's some moisture while it's cooking. With the dates, I'm just going to cut each date, these are pitted dates, um, just in three pieces and uh, put them over my butternut squash and you can add as more or less dates as you'd like. I just like that little burst of sweetness um, when you bite into it with the butternut squash, it's really yummy. And so um, once you finish with your dates, you just want to add some salt. I just sprinkle it over with some salt. Um, you're going to add your spices, your five spice and cinnamon. If you can't find five spice, um, which is a combo of spices, just cinnamon is actually just as good. So you can just use cinnamon. And I accidentally cut this part out, but you want to uh, put in your coconut oil here. So if your coconut oil is melted, just drizzle it over. If it's in chunks, it's okay. Just give it and give everything a nice mix so that it's pretty much coated with your coconut oil if it's not melted. And I use about one to two tablespoons of coconut oil. So when I give it a final stir, I sprinkle over it again some honey um, because I just like the honey on there. <laughs> so this is the finished product. I cook this for Easter dinner, so I don't have a final um, <laughs> fancy shot of this because it went pretty quickly. I didn't even get a serving myself. Everyone's excited to have this every year. So uh, yeah, this is great for fall, spring, anytime. This is a wonderful dish and I hope you enjoy it.